Hey ma'am, what you got in that bag? Hey, hey YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, I'm so glad you're here. Occasionally on my channel, if I come across a product that I purchase and I really enjoy that product, I like to share it with you guys. Not to say that you need to rush out and buy this, but it's a product I just purchased and I'm very happy with it. I've been looking for an EDC bag for quite a while now, and I didn't want to come off as one of those, I play Call of Duty, I'm a operative, tactical type of guy. You know, with one of the bags with all the molly webbing and it's the camo green and all this stuff and I, I didn't want to be that guy if you are that guy hey that's cool that's just not what I was going for <clears throat> I was going for something a little more gray man a little bit more blend in something that won't stick out or stand out or look threatening or imposing that's what I found in this Ozuko bag got this off of Amazon and uh, I tell you what it's a great little bag and uh, it fits well I'll go ahead and show you a clip now of how it looks when it's on Yeah, I was looking for something that uh, would just blend in and uh, do the job. Uh, I got the dark blue color again so it'll blend in with everything. I'm going to go over some of the features with you. And uh, first of all, let's start off with how big it is. Got my trusty tape measurer here. So uh, let's measure it from the top to the bottom. It is about 16 inches, well, 15 inches from the top to the bottom. Wide, from one side to the other, it is about, well, it's kind of puffed out right now, but seven and a half inches. Right now, with the way I, the way I have it packed, the circumference is 22 inches. And the width this way, again, with it packed out the way I have it, it's about six inches. So those are the overall dimensions of it. And now I'm going to show you a few of the uh, features of the pack. All right, I'm going to try to do this one-handed, but I'm going to show you a closer look at the bag. And uh, go over all of the different features of it. We'll start with the strap. It does have a nice, thick, heavy, padded shoulder strap that is centered in the middle here. This is a sling pack, not a backpack. Right here, there is a little inside, little secret pouch. And in that secret pouch, if I can do this with one hand, I have a pair of little reading glasses because I'm always needing reading glasses and that way I will have them handy but you could put anything in there really I mean well not anything anything that'll fit it goes down you can see my finger is touching the bottom there so it goes from here to here and it's the full width so you could put a knife in there um, you know if you wanted to you could put some pins in there whatever it is, a, it is adjustable, which is great, so you can shorten it, or I've got it at the shortest length. At the bottom, it does have, let me unhook un it, it does have a swiveling connector at the bottom, and on both sides, there are D-rings to connect it to. So with the double, double D-rings there, 
you can wear it on the right shoulder or the left shoulder. You can see it has a ventilated, very soft, very padded backing. And on the back side there is a secret compartment. Well, I mean it's not a secret compartment. But in there you could put uh, a wallet, which is probably what I'll do. You could put your keys. Any number of items you could put inside here. It's a pretty deep pocket. Again, you can see it's as deep as my finger and as wide as the pack. And it does have zipper. So that's the back of it. That's the pad. The shoulder strap. And again, it's an Ozuku. It does have a handle, carry handle up on the top. Over on this side, there is another compartment. And it's a good size compartment. It's got a zipper. And right now, what I have in here is just my medication. This is my pain medication in case I need it. And this is also a crusher because I cannot swallow pills. I have to crush them. So that's very important for me to have accessible. And then also I have a phone charger, which I'll talk about that in just a moment as well. But yeah, again, you could put any number of things inside this pocket. Another pocket there on the side for easily accessible items that you might need without having to open up the pack. The front of it, it has kind of a semi-rigid, it's not hard, it is soft and pliable, you see but it does have a structured shape to it. On the other side, you'll see here is a port. You can plug in that charger that I have on this side. You can plug that in and charge your phone, your laptop, any device that needs to be phone charged. So you could actually be wearing this pack, charging your phone at the same time without having to have interrupt, uninterrupted service. So that's very convenient. So now on the top, here's that locking system I told you about. You can see right now it's locked. So these zippers will not open. That means nobody can get into this bag except me or whoever knows the three digit combination. Now it comes standard set with uh, a combination of zero, zero, zero. So when you set the combination to the zeros to start, you push this button, up pop the zippers, and now you can unzip it. Now the great thing about this anti-theft system is you get to set the three numbers. It does teach you a way to get into it and reset those numbers if you ever need to change the numbers. If you think somebody figured out your numbers, you can change these numbers as often as you like to where they will fit and work and uh, keep it anti-theft. Alright, so what I'm going to keep in this bag is going to change from time to time, depending on where I'm going, depending on what I'm doing, but there's so much that you can put in this bag. And I'm going to show you the way I've got it set up right now. But this is not going to be typical of what, I've, what I'll carry every day. I'm going to be going to a friend's house. We're going to be throwing some darts. We're going to be playing some D&D. &D, um, maybe smoke a pipe. So forth, so on. So these items that I have in here now are set up for that. There are some things that will stay in here. Which is my EDC kit that I keep in my Maxpedition kit and my first aid kit, my emergency pain medicine, things like that will always stay in here. But the All right, so here's what I have in here now. I do like the fact that it has two zippers, so you can zip it all the way down like that, and then it just kind of opens up. So in here, I'm just gonna grab things at random. I do have my D&D &D bag. This has got all my D&D &D stuff, I made this from a dragon that I kill, and uh, yeah, so that's one thing I have in there now. Of course, I have my legendary Saxon pipe kit, and in it, I've shown you that before. I'm not going to open it up. Uh, if this popped out, this is one of those Israeli bandages, kind of like a tourniquet. 
I do have my first aid kit. This is a general first aid kit for scratches and boo-boos. So first aid kit, that's one item that always stays in there. The bandage is one item that always stays in there. And then my Maxpedition EDC kit. See, this is what I was carrying as my EDC, but man, this thing is so bulky in the pocket. If you don't carry it in your pocket or it won't fit in your pocket, you just have to carry it around. Now I've got this bag I can keep it in. That stays in there all the time. Also, right now, like I said, we're going to be throwing some darts. So I have my dart set. And uh, I keep a, another pin in here. In addition to my right in the rain pin over there, I uh, keep a bandana. When you have a trach, you need a bandana. There is, you can see these little organizing pockets. So there are these little organizing pockets. So I have a couple of places I can put a Sharpie pen in there. There's a pocket right here where I could put something. I've got the little pocket up here where I have my bandana. I don't have anything in this one right now, so there's room for that. Actually, that's where I'll put my Israeli bandage. So there you go. Now one thing you'll see is, is right here the cord is running from the outside of that USB charger. It's running I'm get the, it's running to the inside here and I've got it coming up and I have it connected to one of those battery packs. This will charge my phone two times and I just keep it in that lower pocket there. Also, I keep, again, when you have a tray, you need Kleenexes. And then I also have some wet wipes. Because when you have grandkids, you need wet wipes. But on this side, like I say, I've got the pocket for the charger. I've got the pocket where I can put the wet wipes. I've got a zip pocket. I'm trying to do this without... A zip pocket up here, I could keep any number of things. Like I could say right now, all I have is these little Kleenexes. So you can see there's room for a lot of other things that I could add to this bag. And you don't have to use the anti-lock. You don't have to use the anti-lock if you don't want to. I mean, you can zip, leave both the zippers up to the top, or you could zip both zippers down to one side. Well, let me get it over here. You know, like that. It just depends on what you want to do. Now, my brother-in-law said he doesn't trust this, so he doesn't use the anti-lock. But I'm going to give it a try. So I think I've covered everything about the bag. I like the size of it. It's not too big. It's not too bulky. It doesn't say, hey, I'm an operator. But anyway, it's, it's a non-aggressive, non-intimidating, everyday carry bag. It helps you to just blend in. Nothing out of the ordinary that somebody's going to say, oh, I've got to have what's in that bag. It's the Azuko. You can get it on Amazon. Anyway, just thought I would share this product with you. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't. I appreciate all of you guys coming along with me today on Arab and Outdoors. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.